one hour time frame trading strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is so simple that you can follow it even if you are a complete beginner. But don't get confused by it. its simplicity because this strategy has incredible accuracy and can increase your account size exponentially in very less time. We're going to be using only two trading view indicators and these indicators are completely free to use so you can also easily use them in your trading. So without wasting any time, let's open our trading view chart. So I'm in trading view and this is what our trading chart is going to look like when we're done setting up our indicators. I'm going to be using a one hour time frame on a Bitcoin chart to explain this strategy. First of all, let's quickly remove these indicators from the chart so I can explain everything from the beginning. So to add the first indicator of our strategy to the chart, we will open the indicator tab. After that, we will search for absolute strength histogram. We will add this indicator called absolute strength histogram version two, which is created by Ji Honglim. This is how this indicator looks like when you add it to the chart. As you can see, it's added here below the chart. This indicator is a very powerful indicator that gives us a measure of the absolute strength of price movement in the market. Before using this indicator in our strategy, we will change the settings of this indicator. So we will open the settings of this indicator from here. In the input section, we will set the value of the period of evaluation option at 14, and we will change the value period of the smoothing option to five. In this trading strategy, we don't need the histogram, so we will remove it from here. And these are all the changes we will be doing for this indicator. Before I show you guys how we will be using this indicator in our strategy and what purpose it will serve, first let's add the second indicator of this strategy to our trading chart. So we will open the indicators tab again. And the second indicator we will use in our strategy is a tried and tested indicator that almost every professional trader has used in their trading. I'm talking about the MACD indicator. We will add this indicator to our chart. After that, we will also change the settings for this indicator. By the way, if you don't feel like analyzing prices yourself, you can join my free Telegram group. Here I share daily the buy and sell positions I open. The link is in the description below this video. So we will access the settings of this indicator from here. First of all, in the input section, we will change the value of the fast length option at 100. Then we will change the value of slow length option to 200. After that, for signal smoothing option, we will change its value to 50. Then we will open the style tab. Here we will remove the MACD line and signal line because we only need the histogram. And these are going to be all the changes we will do for this indicator. I have chosen this strategy for beginners because it is very easy and you just need to be focused on your trade entry, stop loss, and profit targets. Now let's see how these indicators work. The absolute strength histogram indicator simplifies market analysis by comparing the strength of buyers and sellers in the market. It presents this comparison as a histogram. The version we're using uses a signal line to identify potential trend shifts. By assessing the balance of power between buyers and sellers, traders can make informed decisions on when to buy or sell, depending on the prevailing market sentiment. It's a straightforward tool that helps traders use the strength of a trend in potential reversal points in the market. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence McDate indicator is a powerful tool in technical analysis, comprising three key components the MACD line, signal line, and histogram. The MACD line, derived from the difference between short-term and long-term exponential moving averages, oscillates around zero, reflecting changes in the upward and downward momentum of the market. It serves as a versatile tool for assessing momentum, confirming trends, and generating trading signals, making it a useful indicator for many professional indicators. The special settings we have changed for this indicator shows us the overall trend of the market, in this trading strategy, we will try to enter in the current direction of the market and not against the trend. So when the MACD histogram is red in color, it means the price is in a downwards momentum and we will only look to open sell positions. Similarly, when the MACD histogram is green in color, it means the price is in an uptrend and we will only open buy positions during this phase. If you don't have time to watch indicators all day, just join our free telegram group for daily trade signals. Link is in the description we will confirm our buy and sell signal from this MACD indicator. We will take these buy and sell signals from our absolute strength histogram indicator. Whenever this red and orange colored line crosses above the green line, this is a signal that bearish strength is becoming greater than the bullish strength, and we will consider it as a sell signal. 
And when the green colored line crosses and moves above the red line, just like it did here, it means that buying strength in the market is increasing, and we will consider this as a buy signal. Now that we have an idea how we will use these indicators in our strategy, let's go through the complete rules for entering a buy or a sell trade using these two indicators. So for a buy trade to be valid, first of all, we will wait for the green colored line to cross and move above the red colored line. And after we get this buy signal, we will confirm this signal with the help of the MACD indicator. If the histogram is green in color, we can open a buy trade. So as all the conditions are fulfilled, you can open a buy position like this. For beginners, I would recommend following a strict risk to reward ratio and stop loss conditions. But if you are a professional trader, you can wait for a bit before closing a profitable trade. Now let's go through one more buy trade example. For that again, we will wait for the green colored line to cross and move above the red line, just like it happened here. When we get this signal, we will only open a buy position if the MACD is showing a strong upwards trend in the market. As the rules are confirmed here, we can open a buy position here. This strategy is really amazing for beginner traders and can help you guys increase your account size exponentially in very little time. Do you want signals like this three times a day? Then join our signals group for free buy and sell signals. The link is in the description. Now let's go through some sell trade examples. So for a sell trade to be valid, first of all, we want the price to be moving in a downtrend. As we can see here, the histogram is red in color, which means the market is in a bearish trend. And during this downward trend, we will wait for this indicator to give a sell signal. As we already know for a sell signal, the red line should cross and move above the green line, just like it did here. So we can open a sell trade here, I hope you have completely understood the rules for using this strategy on your trading chart, but please make sure to test this strategy before you use it in your live trading. Also, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.